So as most of you, I'm sure, remember, last week we had a little conversation about spoilers and how rampant they are, especially with Attack on Titan and season and the final season and all that. As soon as I was done with the episode, I went on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, Dapper Darius, as always. But so many other creators, Heavenly Controller, Afro Senju, so many other reactors were talking about how they can't go on Twitter. They can't check their comments. They can't check replies. Like, because spoilers everywhere. And I'm just like, why is it so bad? Like, what entertainment do you guys feel by doing that it's just crazy to me what's up dapper squad it's your boy darius back at it again with episode 68 or season four the final season episode nine of attack on titan this episode's called brave volunteers not a clue what that means last episode we had oh so much go down we almost beat up we almost killed uh, uh porco and killed Reiner, but we ended up giving up, or at least we didn't have enough juice, so Aaron escaped onto the airship and was arrested and put under watch and tied up by Levi and everyone else because he went off plan and did his own thing, which I wanna know what the on plan was going to be because we found out about Zeke and his betrayal and all that, so it's just so much shit. And then of course, RIP to Sasha, she was a real one. As some of you guys are also aware, a few days ago, I lost my cat that I've had for 18 years. Um, she was a real one as well. I, I was going through some old stuff and ended up finding my statue, like not a, a little clay ceramic statue that I've made. You can't really see it, but she's right here. So she's gonna be in the background of all the videos. So we can get an RIP Sasha, RIP Sapphire, my cat that I've had forever. You know, appreciate that guys in the comments, but this episode gonna be amazing. As always, if you guys want full length, early access to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out the Patreon. It's always available for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. Leave a like. I always appreciate that. And if you guys could, follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapradarius. As soon as I get this new PC built, I'm going to be streaming so much more. It's just impossible to get a 3080, 3090 these days. I've been rambling on. Let's hop into this episode. Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 9. Let's do it. Are we finally going to get some of the information that happened in those three years? Okay, so this is the scout ships that disappeared. Here's Yelena, her tall ass. Just like Aaron Kruger. Just like the old season three, man. I love that. Damn, he's taking the whole ship. That is so Hanji. I would be terrified. <laughs> you made a mistake, my friend. I'm saying, they literally just lifted you out of the water and took you here. Ooh. Oh, Yelena killed him. That's how she joined the squad. They were shocked as We had multiple mutineers. Oh. Is this how Zeke sent his invitation? to do this because i was wondering at what point would i'm sure i'm gonna get that answer i just want to throw out that prediction that this is how that happened let's have tea i'm guessing this is how zeke sent the proposition makes sense <laughs> they're inspecting the guns yeah magazines stuff like that yeah, the technology difference is crazy. So that's how we were able to get our own blimp, Zeppelin, whatever, you know? Hey, black man, just noticed. Yes, just because you've never heard of air power. That's so Hanji. From the sky? That's a good question. True. True. Oh, 
a lot of people I know were like, yo, let's just have episode season four be just nonstop, crazy, insane, chaoticness, which so far every episode has had some craziness. I'm glad to just sit back at some conversations, get some answers. I know some of you guys are with me. I'm just, I'm, I'm happy about this. Got it. So they're from the conquered lands that Marley's taken over. Yep. I'm guessing Zeke. Okay. I could see how someone who felt powerless in a situation compared to a government army, stuff like that. Could see Zeke like that. Anti Marlene volunteers to free the Eldian Empire. Brave volunteers, I get the title episode. Shouts out. Which Aaron knows his story is also royal blood, so did he ever say that? What happened with Dinah? Yep. So I was always wondering if he said it. He did. My boy Nile. Such good bait. Oh my god. Filthy Highland of Filthy Devils, you're gonna love it. As long as you like pig piss. I love how it's raining because of so much water was exploded from that from that blast. Yeah. That must be so mind-blowing to figure out about the world. Oh, he's the one flying the ship, Onyakapon. I remember I recognize that name. Black man! See, they don't even have a concept of God. I mean, ah, I love how political and religious and just how detailed the show is when it comes to stuff like that because propaganda over the years, I remember, I remember Marleans were talking about how a devil... Uh, made a deal, Ymir made a deal with the devil for the power of the titans, and some people believe God did it because she was a benevolent person who caused many, or created many societal impacts and huge changes in the world in a positive way. It's just, it's, I love it because me, myself, am not very religious, slash, I'm also not very political, but I have a certain understanding of other people who have those perspectives. So I love being able to see not only people with different perspectives, propaganda, brainwashing, stuff like that, but then you have this super weird left party turn where people don't even know of the concept. Well, I mean, they know of the concept. Like, I remember the, the religion of the wall and stuff like that, but, like, they've never thought, you know, like, who create, like, stuff. I'm just so curious. I just love that, you know? It's just interesting to me. Damn. <laughs> they've never had seafood. They've never had seafood. Oh, my God. I love seafood. You guys are gonna fucking eat good. <laughs> she would love lobster, man. And he's he's flattered. He's blushing, and she is absolutely in love. That's all great anime chefs. If you love their food with a passion, they love it. I've seen that in so many anime. Yeah, just the concept of trains and locomotives and stuff like that. Yeah. No, so let me get this straight. Just so I got so I have a full 
understanding of what's going on. Let me know without spoilers. Obviously, appreciate you guys like usual. So, with the help of Yelena and Onya Capone, I'm ha I'm gonna. It's gonna be a minute for me to remember his name. They were able to get these soldiers into the bay. We need help. We need help. Oh yeah, we're sending two ships full of Marleans over to come help you. Sounds good. When they get there, the Colossal Titan army appears. Boom. Hey, it's the Colossal Titan. Come over here. Get a land. Jump off ship. Jump off ship. Come over here. Boom. Come over here. They they take them hostage, so they're not torturing them. Not war crimes. None of that. And they are somewhat forcing them to do this like labor is not i don't want to say labor because that makes it seem like indentured servitude but it's more like a forced cooperation but as time built on they started realizing hey they're not devils you know these are okay people that's why even niccolo who is making the food like he's the forced cook but he's like you eldians you probably won't you've never had seafood you probably wouldn't even like this and then he like loves that sasha loves his cause, you know it's just, Kind of, I'm, I'm curious. It's interesting to me. Let me know if that's what actually happened. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, that transition was amazing but deadly. Oh my god, that was killer, man. Whoa, yeah. Oh, it's Nicolo, too. Of course, Nicolo would be upset by this, man. It sucks, bro. It's too ridiculous to think about, man. Okay, right? It's the small things, man. Just gotta remember the good times. Thanks for letting her eat so much good food. Oh, that is Sasha's dad. Just like Sasha's dad, just, bro, that's, that's like, so hard, man, because, like, I've been saying it throughout all of season four. You can't help where you grew up. You can't help your perspective, obviously. But, man, I just wish more people were just empathetic and just could put themselves in other people's shoes. Like, Niccolo, within a matter of 10 minutes, is showing us the prime example, you know? Like, literally, Sasha, to him, was just his best customer. But that developed just such a human relationship between them on such a personal base, you know? It's like... And who cares if he was born across the sea? Who cares if his people think this way, your people... You know, it's just like... It sucks, man. The world sucks. The situation sucks. And that's why I feel for these characters so much, you know? Wow. Oh my god. That's so much. Wow. Alright, relax there, Pixies. Come on. We, we have valid reason. Oh my god, this, yeah, no, this is a little crazy. I wouldn't do this after how much they've helped. Well, well Zeke here, okay, understandable. Oh, eh. I understand why they'd be reluctant, obviously, but three years would build my trust a good amount, you know? This is his hotel. Oh. I see. This is interesting. This is interesting, very much so. Obviously, they put him there in case he transforms and tries some shit. We can, uh, we can kill him with the ODM gear, you know. I hate that Armin feels like. Oh, 
I haven't seen Annie in so long. Hold on, I gotta talk about that. So I, I, I was saying I hate the fact that Armin feels like he needs to justify certain actions. He needs to verbally talk through it, but it makes a lot more sense that he's doing that in the presence of Annie, who is a pretty much an exact mirror of of their situation. You know, like we're doing all these things. Any hopes we had for democracy, not democracy, for diplomacy and talking it out, peace, as he said, is done. We're gonna forced. We're, we're, we are we were forced to do this and you know just like you it's like he's and he's talking the fact he's talking to annie and he know and they know everything now it's just oh it's so poetic i love it but damn it's crazy seeing annie oh my god i don't like that attitude bro you can there's other ways to win well, like I said, for how many episodes we've had of just pure chaos, it was very nice to have this episode that answered a lot of questions as to how this started and that gave us a lot deeper, uh, a good deeper look into our characters because we haven't seen them this entire season, like deeply. So it started with Yelena and on Capone. I'm pretty sure his name is something along those lines. I apologize if I butched it. He's I like him a lot so far, but we presented a plan and then with from yelena who yelena gave her own little reasoning as to why she saw zeke as this person and this beacon of hope for herself which makes sense I, I understand it completely but from there over the past few years when they just assumed the scout ships were missing and gone we've been developing somewhat of a relation between these captured marleyan soldiers obviously it's still not there even to this point we still have them at gunpoint I'll be, I'll be honest, a couple of times I was confused at the time period because they were showing flashbacks and then current time. I, I get it now, the, the the vast majority of it, like the Titan fluid that they stole, them having them at gunpoint, I thought that was a flashback earlier, but no, that's current. They're doing that only because Zeke is now involved and with them by themselves, you know, they build up trust, you know, there's no need to do that. What is What are six people by themselves going to do against the scouts and all of us? But now that Zeke is here and the Beast Titan is involved, it's, it makes sense why they're cautious. They're bringing him to a forest where they're able to use their ODM gear because they, they firsthand know the power that he's that he has behind his powers. He's going to want to talk to Zack. Uh, no, not Zack. He's going to want to talk to Aaron. He was talking about showing Gabby and Falco the forest, which, oh my god like gabby saying kill Aaron. i'm gonna kill aaron whatever she was saying she looks fucking deranged falco's like damn why am i here man we have armin talking to annie i i we have not seen annie since the end of season one and i swear to god i thought she was gonna be such an important thing in season two and she wasn't and i was like okay season three she's gotta be an important oh, she wasn't season four okay she and she might be you know like it's like god damn i hope she is but because annie was one of my favorite characters and titans because of her complexity and like it was so complex her not killing army and not doing this that and the other during the you know during her first mission it's just i, I can't wait to see her but this this episode definitely answered a lot of my questions i'm happy about that but also it was a nice little breather, and I'm also happy about that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed. Let me see. Um, not necessarily. I did like the conversation about religion and stuff. I love the thing with Niccolo and the family. That was making me tear up, man. R.I.P. Sasha. R.I.P. Sapphire. My cat in chat, if you guys are unaware. But fantastic episode. Like I said, the small things that connect us. Remember the good times. We'll be... I'm sure they'll be thinking of Sasha when they're eating the good-ass meal that Nicola prepared. Man, that's fucking so sad. Great-ass episode, though, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out, you guys.